third grade science vocabulary words part three in this presentation there are there are nine words listed under the category magnetism did you know that the earth is a giant magnet with a giant magnetic force field that is used to protect the earth from the heat of the sun yes without that force field we could not live on planet earth so magnetism is good to know learn about magnetism magnet m a mag mag n a net net mag net magnet okay a magnet is an object that attracts iron or steel okay uh, you have to the left here you see the red uh, north and the uh, blue south that's a bar magnet and then you got the horseshoe magnet with the north and a south pole also then you have a round magnet that's in the middle then the earth is also a magnet you see the earth got a north pole and the earth got a south pole so the earth is a giant magnet but what a magnet does is if you have iron or steel the iron or steel will attract to the magnet the magnet will pull the iron or steel to it so that any object that a magnet will attract to it is called a magnetic object magnetic that's one of the words that's going to be coming up shortly so just remember any object that a magnet will stick to is called a magnetic object it would probably be a pretty good idea to go and purchase two bar magnets so um, you can demonstrate how a magnet works you know um, that's the best way to do it as far as um, um, teaching them magnetism okay magnetism M -a mag mag n e n e t e t e z t e z um t e z m mag n e t e z m magnetism okay magnetism is the pulling force between an object and a magnet okay now if you look at the three uh, pictures up there you see the one on the far left it says north that's the North Pole and the South Pole and in the middle North Pole and the South Pole where the earth has a North Pole and a South Pole now if you look at the earth you see the end is on the bottom and the S is on the top the magnet is actually the end is on the top and the, the North Pole is on the top and the South Pole is on the bottom but the way the magnetism floats around the earth it goes in from the north that's why you see the S right there and it goes out from the south that's why you see the N on the bottom so it's going into the north and it's coming out on the bottom the south okay so that's your magnetism that goes around the earth same magnetism that goes around a regular little plane magnet North Pole and the South Pole and the magnetism is stronger at the North Poles and the South Pole magnetism is stronger at the poles okay let's move magnetic m a mag mag n e net net ik ik 
magnetic. Magnetic. Magnetic is attracted to a magnet. Magnetic is an is an object that's attracted to a magnet. Like you see those metal objects right there, the nails and, and those things. Those things are attract if you put a magnet close to these things right here, the magnet will grab onto it. It's attracted to the magnet. So anything that's attracted to a magnet is called a magnetic object. A magnetic object. Good. Po, p, o, po, a, po. E is silent. Okay, a pole is a place on a magnet where the magnetism is the the strongest. Okay, so if you look at this object over here on the far left, you see the north pole and you see the south pole. Now, the magnetism, the force that goes around a magnet is stronger at the North Pole and the South Pole. That's where it's stronger. If you look at the one in the middle, you can see this uh, picture got a lot of little small metal objects, all the little small metal objects going around. You see most of the metal objects is gathered at the North Pole real thick and at the South Pole real thick. That means the magnetism around the magnet is stronger at the North Pole and the South Pole. Same way on the far right. You see the Earth. The Earth is a giant magnet. You got a North Pole up top, and you got a South Pole on the bottom. And the magnetic, the magnetism going around the Earth is as strong at the North, and at the South Pole, that's where the magnetism is the strongest. And you'll notice how the magnetism lines up there, it goes from out of the South Pole into the North Pole out of the South Pole into the North Pole. Force F or force force is silent. Okay, up there top now you see how that C made the S sound S because when C comes before E I O Y it's gonna make the S sound Okay, force of a magnet. Force of a magnet means to push, a push or a pull. That is the force. Okay, now, if you look at the one over here on the left there with the two red ones coming together, if you put two poles, south pole and a south pole together, it's going to push. Force between the magnets is going to push. You see how this stuff is pushing back? Okay, that's the, that's the push. That's the force pushing back. The magnetism force is pushing back. Okay, but now, uh, if you look at the one in the middle, see how the force picked the nails up? The nails are magnetic. Remember, we talked about magnetic. Anything that a magnet can pick up is considered magnetic. Okay, so the one in the middle, you see how the magnet is picking up the nails? That's the force. The magnetism force around that magnet is picking up those nails. Okay, and one to the four right. Okay, good. This is a good one here. Well, you can see how the magnet mag magnetism force is stronger at the south pole and the north pole. Because if you look at the north, you see all that all that metal right there around the north and the south. That's because the the magnetic field, the magnetism around the magnet is strong at the north pole and the south pole and the force pulls the mag the, the little uh small grind up magnets uh, uh grind up metal to the north pole and the south pole the, the force pulls it to the magnet attract uh uh tur ah Tract, tract, uh, tract, attract. Okay, now the T is silent. First T is silent. It makes no sound. Okay, and the C 
the last C there, it makes the K sound because there's a T in front of it, okay? So it makes the K sound, k, k, k. But if that T was an E, I, or Y, what sound do you think it's going to make? It's going to make the S sound, s. But it's a T there, so it makes the K sound, k, k. Attract, okay? Now, what is attract? Attract is to pull together. When the magnetic field pulls together, okay? So, now, look at the picture on the left over there. You see the North Pole and the South Pole. If you put a North Pole magnet and a South Pole over the magnet, if you got two magnets, put the North Pole and the South Pole together, it's going to attract. They're going to stick together. They're going to attract, okay? But if you put a North Pole and a North Pole together, they're going to push away, okay? A South Pole and a South Pole together, they're going to push away. But opposites, South Pole and the North Pole, they attract. They attract. The magnetism will attract together, okay? But a South Pole and South Pole, same poles repel. Opposite poles attract, same poles repel. Pull. Uh, pull, all, pull, L is silent, and you see the U make the short double O sound, uh, uh, okay, pull of a magnet, okay, a force that moves an object closer to another object, okay, so if you take a magnet, you put a south pole and a north pole together, they're going to pull together, okay? Um, like the one on the left, the one on the left there. You see the the uh, <clears throat> the red and the blue on the on the right, and you can see right there where the north pole, the magnetic field, the magnetism around the north pole and south pole is stronger because that's why you got more of the little uh, tiny metal objects around the north pole and the south pole because the because the mag because the poles the magnetic field around the poles is stronger. Okay, so uh, to pull of a magnet is a force that moves an object closer to another object, like pull it towards you. Pull, repel, er, e, re, p, e. Pal, pal, repel, repel. Okay, the repel of a magnet is to push away. To push away is to repel. So if you put a north pole and a north pole together, it's going to push away from one another. If you put a south pole and a south pole together of a magnet, they're going to push away from one another. It's like you see the two horseshoes on the left, repel, and in the middle you put a north and a north together, they push away. But now, opposites attract. Opposite attracts together. If you put a south pole and a north pole together, they pull together. They attract. But if you put, if you change them around, North Pole to a North Pole or South Pole to a South Pole, they repel, they push us away from one another. Push, p, uh, push, push. Okay, push, a, push of a magnet is a force that moves an object away from another object. So push and repel is basically the same thing, okay? Like on the far left, see the north pole, north red and the north red? You put them two together, they're going to push one another away. Just like in the middle, you see north and north, it pushes away. Now look look what the magnetic field doing for the two for the two north right there. They're pushing away. They're pushing it. You see how it's, it's pushing away way there in the middle? Now Look at the one on the far right. You put the south and the south together, they push away. North and the north together, they push away. But now check what's happening. See that north there? Right here. What the north the north pole that's close to the south pole, them two uh, will attract towards one another. 
Okay. A force that moves an object away from another object is to push. Okay. No child left behind. Okay, but now look in this in the last picture here on the ending right here. You see this uh, this red over here on the, on the left? That's the sun. Now you see the earth right there in the middle? Right there in the middle? That's the earth. Now you see the magnetic field going around the earth? Okay, the sun uh, produces a lot of energy, a lot of heat, hot heat. But now the earth magnetic field protects the earth from the sun. You see, when the energy comes from the sun, the magnetic field of the earth makes that sun energy go around the earth. Some of it get through because that's how we get daylight. And then when the earth turns around, turns back to the sun, we get nighttime. But this energy from the sun is hitting the earth 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year. But if it wasn't for the magnetic field going around the earth, then we could not live on the planet earth. So magnetism is good to know magnetism.